Hi everybody, welcome back to Gig Gossip. Well, it's late at night and I decided to give you another quick tip. This time it involves uh, life looping. If you initially thought that life looping might be a cool thing, right? finally get rid of that sloppy rhythm guitarist and just lay down your own rhythmic figures and your chords and then solo along. And how did that end? Well, if you're like me, um, it ended in a complete disaster because of one simple fact and that's your timing completely sucks, just like mine. Um, because you always get faster or you slow down. Uh, you just can't keep speed. You have to tap in the punch in and the punch out right on spot. And if you accidentally manage to do it, you find out just after you finished the first part that you started out way too fast or way too slow. So you're always off. Uh, well, you could argue, um, why don't you just practice a little more? I'm 44 by now and no, it doesn't get any better. What I need for this, or what you might need, is some sort of rhythmic guide, a click track. Well, uh, some of these looper pedals do have rhythmic things, a drum machine, but that's not that helpful because you don't want the audience to hear it, just you. Mm -hmm. The second thought might be, uh, well, MIDI in, MIDI out, a drum machine, headphone amp, and so on, and you end up with four-digit figures. No, no, no. So here's a little workaround that I came up with, and it involves this beautiful device here. That's the uh, Digitag Jamman Solo XT. XT. It has three features that I must point out for this. It's stereo or dual mono. You have two tracks that run at the same time. Ah, now your brain starts working, isn't it? You have a large enough memory because you can put in a micro SD card with up to 32 gigabytes of memory. So that's enough for 200 songs with 10 minutes length. That's not that important. And you have an editor where you can put pre-recorded stuff to this device. No, I will not play anything, okay? Let's just imagine you want to play something fancy like Ain't Nobody and you have this figure tick 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 Hmm, if you do that too fast, if you do it too slow, it's just plain awful, okay? So you found out, okay, this is this or that speed. Go to your digital audio workstation, in my case that's GarageBand, and just make your own click tag. just the way that you want it, with a synthesizer with whatsoever, and record that. Quantize and record it in exact the length that you need it. And then export that stuff as a stereo track with the click panned hard to one side. And then you uploaded it, okay? And then you have on nine, just write it down anywhere, you have Ain't Nobody as a click track and a pre-recorded click. That means you punch in and punch out, or the starting point of your overdubs is already settled. Whenever you step down on, well, rack, it doesn't record, it's overdubbing because the length is already set. And then you have your click track. Right in, right out might be your guitar, and left in is nothing, and left out is your click track. And if you're using this to your mixer, or to your headphone preamp that is attached to your belt, you have your, this is the moment to start. Okay. No punch out. It automatically starts because the length is already set. And you can right away do the next overdub. And if you think now that's a good idea, I should give it a try. Give it a try with any device that has an editor and the possibility to upload things. In my case, it's the German Solo XT. Important thing, the XT by Digitech. No, the normal non-XT won't work. Well, drop me a line if there's another looper that has this feature. Okay, that's the quick tip. Good night.